I lead a running club at my school and if there's one thing that every kid wants to do, it's to run fast. So here are some of my top tips. So first thing we want to think about is what part of your foot do we actually want to hit the ground? We want to generate as little friction as possible. That means we don't want our foot touching the ground for a long amount of time. So if we're on our heel, that's acting like a like a break, so we don't want that. We also don't want to be landing right on our toes and running on our toes because we can't generate a lot of power from it. It's this bit right here, right here. It's called the ball of your foot and you want to hammer the ground with the ball of your foot. Problem is, many of us don't naturally walk or run on the balls of our feet, so we need to train ourselves to do this. So the best way to practice this is to point your toes upwards and try to walk about. Feels a bit weird, but you will get used to it. Another good thing to think about is the actual motion of your leg, how it moves. So, if I'm hitting the ground with the ball of my foot, I want to bring it all the way up. So I'm kicking my bum, my knee up, and then I'm stretching out in front. So it's that sort of movement. And now, you gotta practice walking about like that. So when you're running, that's the movement that we're looking for. It might be a good idea to film yourself running in slow motion and then you can really see if you've got that technique down. And the final thing is a quick tip for a good start. When we're starting off a race, lots of people stand like this. But if you think about it, when they push off the ground, all the power is coming straight up their leg. We want it going forward. So you want to bend forward so your knee is over your foot. So when I push off, I'm being propelled forward, not up. And that's my top tips for running quick.